Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com and thank you for stopping by today as we take a look at these Crayola brand colored pencils. Now Crayola has been making uh, art supplies since the early uh, 20th century. I think 1903 is when the company got started. A couple of brothers noticed that uh, there wasn't very many inexpensive uh, crayons for kids so they added some pigment to some wax crayons and the first box rolled off the factory line. Uh, 1903 for five cents a box and they've been making uh, art supplies and products in a town in Pennsylvania ever since then. Now if you grew up um, like I did using Crayola products that's probably the very first art supply that got in your hands um, either when you went to school or your mom and dad bought you uh, some Crayola color crayons and that's how your first art experience was. I mean somebody put a crayon in your hand and you made a mark and so I have very fond memories of the Crayola brand as do my children. So they all grew up using Crayola brand and I'm sure that um, you know if uh, uh, the company's still going strong in a hundred years from now their great-grandchildren will be using art supplies made by Crayola. So today we're going to take a look at these pencils and I'll put each color to the test and then I'll try to do a little artwork myself uh, using these pencils and um, I'm really looking forward to it so stick around and here we go. Now maybe there are some professional artists that would turn their nose up at Crayola or lower end uh, colored pencils and things like that and I say you know what buy I always say buy the best you can afford but if you're not in a place in, in your life where you can afford to buy uh, really expensive art materials and professional grade art materials but you still want to practice your craft this is a great way to do it I, I think inexpensive um, student grade pencils even when I say student grade I'm not just talking about art students I'm talking about um, school age kids it's it's a great place to start and these work just fine I still to this day do a lot of thumbnail drawings with um, more inexpensive pencils like these Crayolas here and I love the um, I love what they do for for that they're not you know and I'm not breaking the bank again two dollars ninety nine cents US is not gonna um, make too many people go broke here you go though here's the eraser test and I just want to say that like all colored pencils haven't what haven't met a colored pencil yet that didn't leave at least some remnants of the line work underneath and so these perform just about how I expected not bad at all and here I'm just gonna try a little layering technique so here's one layer two layers three layers and so on and so forth until I get I think to six layers I really like the way these are laying down right now what I'm looking for here is any waxing or blooming that might occur um, just as a function of putting the color down on the paper because that that can happen especially with lower end uh, cheaper brand pencils but it does not uh, seem to be occurring here at all with these Crayola pencils which I think is awesome Now here I think I'll, I'll try a little um, color blending. So put down some yellow, I'll put down some blue, I'll mix them up a little bit and see if we get the uh, green that I'm expecting. So here you can see just bringing the blue in here and you can see a little of the green starting to develop. Add a little bit more yellow in and it does turn green for you. Now understanding that these are uh, pretty inexpensive pencils so the pigments are not going to be as rich. I don't expect them to be. Here I'm using a Derwent blender to just see how um, the colors uh, blend in and they, and they do a nice job. I'm just also looking again for any waxing uh, blooming that might come out of these uh, pencils just to see how they perform on the paper as well. Really no problems at all. They're just about where I'd expect them to be um, with other uh, brands that are similarly situated like uh, a Kid Made Modern brand pencils or Prang. Uh, pencils like that, some of the um, student grade Faber-Castell pencils as well. And up here I'm just going to go and blend in the color um, of each of these colors just to see how it moves around. And it's, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Um, it's not spectacular. You're going to, uh, the color is going to get a little weaker as you blend, but it does, does do a little blending, so no problems there at all. 
I just wanted to make a quick mention that uh, this particular box of pencils right here was made in Brazil. And I have some subscribers who live in Brazil, and so I thought of them right away when I saw that on the box and was happy to see that Crayola is investing in jobs throughout the hemisphere. I'll try to tackle these oranges, and they don't start out the best, but we'll see where I can take them here with a little bit of reworking of uh, the color here. And when you're done watching this video, um, maybe pop over to the Crayola website and check that out. They have like free downloads of uh, coloring pages, lots of tips and tricks and ideas for projects you can do with your kids or even on your own. Now they're geared towards um, students and school age kids and things like that, but there's some fun things over there and you can tell the people at Crayola um, are very creative and have gotten either lots of input or lots of ideas from their end users over the years. Um, just lots of fun things to do and check out over there. I'll put a link as well in the description and uh, so if you get a chance, pop over. Now, understanding we're looking at a time lapse here, I should just say that I really put these pencils to a vigorous workout. I probably blended uh, with the Derwent blender and layered more than 10 or 15 times. I really uh, kept trying to push it and push it and push it until I got um, some of the effects I wanted. And some of the effects I got, and then I reworked it and the effects disappeared, so I had to go in and use the eraser. But um, long story short, I got some um, undesired effects when I pushed it too far, um, some waxing and blooming, mostly due to the fact that I really worked uh, these pencils out with the Derwent um, blender, which creates a, you know, a shiny uh, surface anyway. So if I had to do it over, the technique I would apply here is probably more of a layering technique versus a, a blending technique. And just let the colors do most of the work. Now that said, I enjoyed using these pencils a lot. I liked 99% uh, of the effects I got, and the 1% I didn't like were probably of my own uh, choosing because I tried to push too hard. Now in a second I want to compare these pencils a little bit to a higher end a Chinese made pencil called a Marco Renoir which I just did a review on uh, not long ago and you can go check that out if you like. Um, it's really not a fair comparison because the Marco Renoir are more expensive pencils. They're more loaded with pigment and they're geared as uh, they're geared toward professional artists. But um, but that said, I think it's, it's, it's okay to compare uh, sometimes student grade pencils to higher end pencils, and so that's just what I'm gonna do. So the first thing I wanna do here is flip the page a little and give you a look at the Marco brand pencils. Expect that the pigments are gonna be a little bit darker and richer in the Marcos. They're more expensive, they should be. Um, but the blendability, erasability, the layering, um, they're actually comparable, which is surprising for a set of pencils that cost $2.99. Now, I'm not saying you should, if you have the Marcos, you should throw them out and run out and get a box of Crayolas. Not at all. But for light-duty drawing, for projects, for things like thumbnails, the Crayolas are just great. Well, thanks for stopping by today as we took a look at these Crayola brand colored pencils. Don't forget to leave a comment or a question if you have one. Um, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to share the video, please. All right, well, this has been Marty from OwingsArt.com. So long, everybody. Have a great day.